Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show. Wednesday, April 19, 2017. Not much is happening uh, on the market. Uh, it, it's pretty weak, actually. Uh, uh, we have 32 points on the NASDAQ market, but I don't, I'm not really sure this is going to hold because, look, uh, the, the SPY went up. This, it's very funny. Uh, all markets are very different. At the, at the, at the opening, the uh, the spy opened higher and came down to almost nothing right now the dow did not open very much higher a very little bit and uh, ever since the market has been plunging and uh, the nasdaq rose a, a lot also this morning but now testing this support for the fourth time so uh you know that 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 could come down also this afternoon as the other markets are going down so um it's not very, very, very nice again. The market is trying to find a direction. We have a little bit of volatility, but too many people have, have bought stuff this week again. And, and, and now, uh, th that's what I see coming in, in the questions in every show. I bought this, what I what should do? I bought that, what should I do? Uh, because uh, most of the uh, signals are not holding. There has been so many false signals again this week. And uh, so, because the market is, is, uh, is I, I would say, risky, because it's always risky to buy something when there is no direction because it's just a straight volatility and uh, we, we there, there is there is no no fire uh, under the shuttle you know so there's no volume there's no uh, momentum i can say so look we have a little uh, bounce back on on the US dollar today which is nothing because it's still within a bearish cycle within a downtrend the uh, uh, Nikkei is uh, now uh, uh, totally neutral without any direction at all. 
the Hang Seng is coming is coming toward its support. Uh, the uh, London market had reached the uh, January February support. So uh, the situation is negative. So the Nasdaq is rising within its long two months of sideways movement. So it means nothing. It's not a buy signal or anything on the market. So and if you look at the Dow Jones. A look at this that's that is an important movement the Dow Jones is down so when you look at the market today it seems uh, it seems all right you know oh yeah good it is a support here so but when you see what this support is it's I it, actually it's this one so I was showing you two days of in of intraday that was there those two days but it's also a one month support and it's also the uptrend that is right there. So a little bit more on the downside, and we will enter in the same movement as the London market has done. Because look at this. I think it's an important thing. Let me put London and the Dow Jones together, okay? Look, London is at the January support, okay? And the Dow is not at the January support. It, it is at the higher support here. So actually, what I'm afraid of is that the the the, uh, the the Dow could do the same thing as the European market, and within uh, within a, a, a few days, the market could come down like uh, 700 point. If the panic could uh, could uh, start if this support is broken. So I think it's pretty risky to buy too many long positions right now. And uh, the SPY is not very far from this breaking point also that could bring it uh, over here. And on the TSX, it could come down uh, like uh, it's now uh, 15,600, uh, could go to 15,300. So there's a, a 300, 300, 350 point possible to lose there. So in this condition, I think you should slow down in, in the buying and, and think more at what am I going to do with my stock if the, if the market goes down? Because look at the crude oil right now. The crude oil uh, broke down yesterday and it's continuing the movement today. And uh, over a period of, it, of uh, 10 days, you see, the situation is not positive at all. We have a little pullback at the moment, but actually we have changed. Unless it, it comes back up here, uh, unless the the uh, the uh, the crude oil does that, oops, sorry. Look what ha can happen if it comes back a little bit here, and then go down again. What's going to happen is the angle of the trend will get steeper. So that's why I consider that it is very risky to buy too many long position at the moment. And uh, okay, so let's see now the gold. Uh, this is a false quote, so forget it. It, it ha uh, the quote exists, but it's not a real quote. It's just a momentary thing. So it actually, it's it's not a a, a a a bad quote. But the stocks here are showing a a downward direction. And what I'm afraid of here too is that if it accelerate again here, it will become <coughs> bearish in the short term. And in the long term, so it's not the time again to buy gold stock at all right now. And neither on the mining, because the little rebound we got this morning is not holding. So actually here, the risk of breaking a very important support is there. So if, if a support that has been tested five or six times is broken, you have good chance to see the, the sector going there. So I think you have to keep a look at some of your stock and say, OK, listen, uh, we have a big support here on, on, on Ud Bay. If it breaks it down, you gotta, you, you got to sell some, something. Look at tech. It's very, very close to become uh, in a bearish cycle here again and go and go down to a 26. And then first quantum has a very important, uh, significant support. If, if it breaks the 13 bucks, could go, could go to 11 and 10. So be careful before buying something. We don't have much new, very important news today, but we have a few financial resorts. BlackRock uh, uh, did... Uh, uh, 425 instead of uh, 525 instead of 489. The stock goes on anyway. 
Uh, Morgan Stanley didn't go anywhere with 10 cents better. Uh, U.S. Bank Corp is going nowhere neither with 2 cents better. Uh, Abbott Laboratories is, uh, uh, has 5 cents more than expected to 48. It's going nowhere too. And, uh, and IBM is going down. I don't know the reason. I have no news on it. Uh, they had 3 cents better than expected and the stock failed. And uh, Rogers... Uh, 57 to 64, uh, the stock has uh, gone up, but it was going up since a few days. So it's an excellent place to take a, a profit. And uh, so Ultra Genix um, here uh, is, uh, they say it's going good with their, the, the test of their cure. And uh, it's quite unprecise. Uh, uh, the movement here, it opened higher, came down to zero, so forget it, don't buy it. And uh, Nivalis is uh, showing a breakdown, so it's a sell signal right there. And uh, they, 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 they said that they are going to merge with a company called Alpine Immune Science. And uh, it's pretty well it. Uh, we have, oh, we're going to the break. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. I have one question here. One question here uh, from a bear said, "I bought BLX 2074. So 2074 is approximately here. Yeah, uh, it's probably where you bought it because there was a signal there, and uh, you sold half at 2165, which is uh, almost on the top here, which is great. Not a uh, not not a big profit, about 80 cents." Uh, and, but now under its correction, I see your concern. The thing is, uh, I, I'm quite sure the stock could go until 2050. At 2050, you'll be losing a little bit of the money you made on, on, on the way up. Um, since the, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not really, really sure what I would do on it. You know, the stock is not a weak stock. It's a strong stock. It's been going up for month and month and month. Could be just it. The volume is low on, on the uh, correction, so it could stop there and go back up. But, uh, you know, I, I, see, I see the hes hesitation that you have right now. Should I get off that and take the little money I got or take a chance so the stock will stop right there and go back up? The thing is, if it doesn't stop and if it comes down, it will, it, it, it will swallow the profit you already made. So... Um, I mean, uh, it's your call, I guess. Uh, uh, anything you do uh, could be a good thing because the stock is still positive. Not very interesting stock because you can have it for month and month for small profit because, you see, uh, the, the, uh, the, the whole chart goes from 16 to 21 in one year. So it's, it's, it's not big money. So I don't know. Uh, myself, I would flush it all. But if you keep it, I think it's a good thing too. Thanks a lot for your warning about uh, ab uh, about about Marie-Jean <laughs> Marie-Joana. You mean, you mean? Um, about Marie from Jean, probably. I think it's important. You know, uh, it, it, it's still there. Look at the look at the moment. Uh, the uh, 
what I was uh, saying this morning, yes, I provided the warning and say, okay, you better make sure it's going to do a second movement because the, I think there was a little bit of anticipation. The, mo the, 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 the movement was not that strong. And look, this one is coming down. You know, the, the ETF is coming down right now. So if you haven't bought here yet, I suggest we wait for a new high on it. Uh, look at this one. Did not do the second uh, 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 cycle. And it's okay if you enter the first one, because if you enter there, now you escape here. But, you know, look, uh, I, I was afraid this morning, and I, I'm still, look, the last, um, let me make it in one minute. Okay, so look, the, uh, what, what we were waiting was for a, another, another move here. It happened, but came back, ouch, be careful. If you bought this at 710, you got to sell at 695 because the movement will be reversed. And uh, Aurora Cannabis never do. So only one or two stock has, has continued this movement from this morning. We're very slightly here on Organigram and look, it, it lost it already. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm afraid of that movement. You know, it's, it's just a big pullback as far as I'm concerned. I am not quite sure that movement is strong enough. So uh, I, 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 I warn you on this movement. So we desperately need a, a new push and, 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 and good volume associated to it. So that's all for the questions so far. And uh, what else do we have here? A little pullback at the moment on most of the resources. Doesn't seem to be strong enough. Uh, I think it will go nowhere. Uh, and uh, there's still quite a bit of uh, pressure on the market. So, you know, I, I would love to have something nice for you and say, okay, let's go, go. But it's not the case. You know, uh, look, the gold is coming down once more. And uh, about the gold stock, uh, remember that the, 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 the gold stock now are not going up, you know. So uh, within the last uh, little while, we had a little mo uh, upward movement, but uh, as this one and as this one, so it means nothing. It could come back there <coughs> during the afternoon. As far as I'm concerned, I think we should uh, 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 pass on, on, on the actual movement anyway. Uh, gold is not interesting, mining are not interesting, uh, oil stocks are not interesting, and pretty well much of the other sector are way too high. And, uh, and, 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 and I think the market is, 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 in, is in danger for a, for a bigger correction right now with, with what I can see, with my feeling about this market here so uh, forget about the Nasdaq movement on the upside I'm, I'm more worried about the, the Dow Jones testing it's a it's a short-term support the SPY and and the TSX as well <clears throat> so especially when you see the crude oil going down when you see the gold coming back down when you see the mining testing a very important support here so I think we call it a little bit too for me a little bit too risky right now to increase uh, too many position and if, it, if I were you I would check m many of my oil stock because so many are putting their nose underneath their support here uh, and uh, and uh, many many stocks are very close to uh, break down like Vermillon did yesterday look like Synovus is almost doing right now and don't and remember there was big volume here on the downside so this is it for today. Oh, uh, we have one more little question here. Why do I get, uh, where do I get in on HGD? Oh, uh, HGD, uh, very um, uh, uh, close uh, there on, 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 on the next acceleration, you know, um, because a, a TTGD is, is go, will go down, so HGD will go up. Look, HGD. So, on the, uh, at uh, 797. That's it, folks. Thanks very much for attending. We'll see you next week.